Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to remove watch links um, on ones that are screws that are stuck. So for this one, for example, I've already started the process on this one. These are, if you can look closely, they are uh, screw on right around here. So, bring this closer. So, what you're going to need is firstly some pliers, secondly, a set of screwdrivers that are um, very small that you can actually fit inside. And it's, it's simple, just stick them in, see if they fit. And then next, uh, like corn cob poker that you just stick in the side of corn cob or a uh, thumbtack. Thumbtacks also work just as well. So what you want to do first is bring it over here. Um, you want to spray it, the actual holes with WD-40 or your WD-40 inside of the holes and then come over here. Then you need boiling water, so watch this. You just simply stick it under boiling hot water. And this heats it up and expands the metal. So the metal has expanded. And then you want to bring the WD-40 over and spray some more on it. like. And then basically you would come back and Get your either thumbtack or corn cob holder and stick it in the hole that you're looking for, okay? And get either a hammer, but I, rec I recommend just using the pliers and hit this as hard as you can several times. Just th that, That's how hard you want to hit it, okay? Just keep on hitting it until eventually that will loosen it up. And then what you want to do is... Sometimes these are in so tight, you can't just unscrew it. But what I would do to get more force and more grip behind it is to do this. Now this method has worked on all of these watches. I've removed it from every single one of these using this method. And then you would just uh, simply unscrew it like this. See, I can actually see it moving right now. You, you probably can't see it on the camera, but it's definitely coming undone because you get more force behind it with the pliers holding the actual um, screwdriver. Now you may need to sharpen your screwdriver with a uh, knife sharpener to make it actually fit. Now, once it's done, you would actually pull it out like that. Boom. Um, there we go. And it came loose. Perfect. Now, in case there's one that's absolutely stuck, absolutely completely stuck, I'm going to show you how to remove one that is just, you can't do anything about it. So bring this back over here. Um, if all of that has failed, you can do something crazy. It will ruin the link, but if you're removing the link, it doesn't really matter. Get a drill, okay? Get the very, very small drill bit and do this. Not that, but this. I think it's on. Yeah, this is actually a, quite a difficult task right here, but so eventually it will um, degrade it to the point that it looks like this, and at that point. 
you can eventually get your corn cob remover, holder I mean, or thumbtack, and then stick it into the other side. Once you've drilled out the threaded side, because there, of course, there's one side that's threaded and one side that's not, then you can just simply bait it out. Keeps falling. All right, yeah, see, this is actually a lot easier when it's connected to the watch itself, but you get the premise here. And then from there, you can just use the pliers to actually pull it out. Okay. And this, I mean, you don't, you don't want to do that. That's really the last case scenario. And this works on all types. Okay, we've done it to this. Works on this. So this is the last one I did. I did this one today. Fortunately, this one didn't have to be drilled out because this one is uh, much higher quality. If I can get a better camera angle on this. There we go. So this one was rather simple to remove. Um, Again, it works on all types, but you definitely want to get a uh, thumbtack or something, as well as a some WD-40, some hot water, and you can even put these in the freezer first. Okay, pull this up, put it in the freezer, and then after, just put it under boiling hot water to heat it up, expand the metal, put the WD-40 on and then unscrew it.